Hey everyone, it's Jen and welcome back to the Chroma Crowns YouTube channel. I'm really excited to be bringing you this video today as it will be the first of many in a series that will be breaking down the fundamental building blocks of hair and all of the science behind it. These core facts, I believe, are essential to knowing exactly what's happening to the hair chemically, which will in turn make anyone a better colorist. I really hope this information will find anyone that's still in beauty school that's looking to learn more, or even a seasoned colorist who needed a refresher, or even to a client that's just really curious to know what's happening to their hair while all that goop is sitting on their head. So let's go ahead and break down all the different types of hair color and let's get right into it. So before we get into all the different types of hair color, I will be using my trusty, handy dandy, homemade hair shaft. This is something I made to explain to you guys the cross section of a human hair. So there's basically three major parts of the hair that we need to know in order to understand hair color. The first part that we're going to explain is the outermost layer, which is the cuticle layer on the outside of the hair. So this is actually composed of dead cells that are laying on top of each other in a scale-like pattern. This layer is actually going to help to protect the hair and it gives it a little bit of strength. The next part that I'm going to explain is this innermost layer called the cortex. This cortex is actually where all the magic happens when you are doing some hair color. The third part of the hair is the medulla, which is the very, very center that is present in mostly thick and coarser hair. A lot of times when hair is lighter or finer, the medulla is actually completely absent. So it may or may not contain that section of the hair. So that is the basic cross section of the hair. And now let's get into the different types of hair color. The first type of hair color we're going to cover is permanent hair color, also referred to as oxidative hair color. So to help me out with that explanation, I have this little jar of colorless molecules. So these little molecules are actually tiny, little, and colorless, and these are actually what lives inside your hair color tube. Um, they are colorless until they are exposed to oxygen in the air or a developer. These little molecules are so tiny that they can actually enter the cuticle of the hair shaft and enter into the cortex. As they live in the cortex and the oxidation process happens, these little guys will actually grow in size and develop in color, which will then create a larger color molecule that lives in the cortex that can no longer escape. So this type of permanent hair color that is oxidative needs a developer that has strength to open the cuticle layer so that the molecule can actually enter in. These molecules are now locked into the hair and cannot escape, which creates a permanent hair color. And one more thing about permanent hair color is it actually has the ability to lift natural pigment. Depending on the strength of the developer that you are using, you can actually lift three to four levels of natural hair color and then deposit in the color that you would like. So no other color has the power to lift natural pigment. So that is what's really special about permanent hair color is you can really lift out that color and put in the color that you're looking for. The next type of hair color I'm going to cover is the demi-permanent hair color. Now the great thing about demi-permanent is that it is actually a combination of direct dyes and oxidative dyes. So I brought my little molecules here to show you. So it is going to be a combination of the little oxidative dyes and also larger pigments as well. So what these different sizes will do is one of them will actually help to penetrate the surface of the cuticle and dig in a little bit deeper than any other color, as well as the larger molecules that will sit on the surface of the cuticle layer, slightly penetrating the cortex on the outside. A demi-permanent hair color does not penetrate as deeply into the cortex as the permanent color does, but it does create a very gentle lift as it is mixed with a lower volume developer. Okay, so moving on to the next type of hair color is semi-permanent hair color. Now these color molecules are even bigger than the demi-permanent molecules, and these will actually sit more on the outside surface of the hair. Um, Semi-permanent hair colors can or can't be mixed with developer, really depending on the type that you're using, but direct dyes will also fall into this category as they sit more on the outside of the surface of the hair and do not penetrate the hair at all. 
The only time you can have penetration is if there is over-processed or porous hair that will allow the pigment to enter past the cuticle, but usually the semi-permanent molecules will sit more on the outside of the hair. So direct dyes like any type of vivid hair color, this is what the category would be. These guys will actually sit on the surface of the hair and should last anywhere between five to 10 shampoos and will eventually go through a fading process. The next type of hair color I'm going to cover is temporary hair color. Now this refers to the spray colors that you would get for Halloween or hair chalk or any type of cream that you could paint on. And these colors will actually wash out after one to two shampoos. Now these color molecules are huge. They're so big, they actually do not penetrate the hair at all and will actually sit more on the outermost layer of the hair. They don't penetrate at all unless there is any type of overprocessing or um, over porous hair, then the molecule could enter and stain a little bit longer. But in general, these color molecules are so big, they will actually sit on the surface of the hair and not penetrate at all. All right, so that was it. That was the basic breakdown of the four different types of hair color. If you have any questions, please let me know. I would love to help you. Otherwise, please like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram, and I will see all of you guys in my next video, and happy coloring.